one thing that I think is universally acknowledged, and that is, we need more energy. This is obviously a great source of energy that we can tap into. And we're not just talking about rivers, we're talking about water energy per se. And water has two kinds of energy. It's got potential energy and it's got kinetic energy. Here we're looking at potential. Here is where we've got a mass of water flowing. Now it's not flowing very quickly obviously because it's a low down river, but there's a lot of water there. Now that's not the only situation we can find water. Okay, this is an example of where that energy is now kinetic. We've increased the head, we've given it a restriction, and so now we're getting a greater force from the water. And now it's the pressure from the water. So this is what you see being in loads of generators. For instance, Kaplan's generators, and in the example that we gave in the video. So in video 1487, we used this to investigate the effect of the volume of water flowing over it. We put a hose pipe here, we let a volume flow over it. We took some measurements using our impeller blade, which is this one here. Now what we're going to do is exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to use water pressure. So here's our usual setup. We've got the thing here attached to the meter. We've got a load on it. We're going to measure volts and amps, of course, but this time we're using the pressure of the water, so we're putting it through this. What I've done to create that pressure is use the head of pressure of the supplier, which remembers about 15 to 30 psi, shrink it down to a one and a half millimeter diameter exit hole, and that will generate a fair amount of pressure. But it doesn't use the volume of the water. We're going to be using about a litre every two minutes, something like that. But anyway, let's give it a go. That's a lot. Jesus. was about 400 milliwatts, nearly half a watt from a litre every two minutes, PC fan, turbine blade, it's pretty awesome and in fact that's the best result I've got even using Pelton and Turgo, so pretty impressive. So all in all it looks like that is a pretty awesome design. Now. There are benefits, obviously, from using the pressure. It uses less water, it creates more power. But then on the other hand, you have to get that pressure there in the first place, and because that's going to cost. So a simpler solution would just use the uh, potential energy of the water. A slightly more complex solution uses the kinetic energy, but it's more complex and it is more expensive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.